dude, we finally made it. We're in. Yeah, I know. That was way easier than expected, too. There's stuff all over in here. It's really messy. Yeah. It's really dark, too. Hard to see. Yeah, what is all this stuff? What the? Why are there lights on down there? I have no idea. Let's go check it out. Do you hear that? Listen. There's people. There's people down there. What? Why are there people still here? This place has been shut down for years. Shh, let's go check it out. It's exciting. It's incredibly exciting. So I've worked out a third generation synthesis. The point in green chemistry techniques. Which generates the product in nearly quantitative yield. It complete selectivity for the bioactive and anti -murder. Preliminary findings indicate that the synthesis is scalable. So it's probably multi-kilogram scale. And the product is like, oh, shit, man. This is some seriously good shit. I mean, we are talking glass quality impact. Crystal's three inches long, gets you so goddamn high. Dude, what are they talking about here? I don't know. Never test a run is confirmed it's some seriously good shit. Hey, how do you test that stuff anyway? Do you test it on mice? <laughs> yeah, man, mice, right. Mice love that shit. Oh, by all the metrics, all the tests, your shit is the best. So, uh, when, when are you gonna get some more for that, uh, for us to, uh, test? Um, cause, you know, just, just keep it coming, keep it coming. Uh, the mice really like it. The mice really like it. Excellent, excellent. So do we have any new theoretical insight into the substrate mining site? Yeah, so I ran some molecular dynamic simulations for full 10 seconds. And these in silico experiments have shown that by adding some methyl groups on the analog, and the optimum number is four, it improves the binding activity by increased hydrophobic interactions, like so. I agree with this approach, but feel as if it needs to be expanded in scope. The problem with making methamphetamine or any other drug of abuse is that while it may be lucrative, it is still derivative. The market is already flooded with competitors that do the exact same thing, get you high. But they all have the same problem. To keep getting high, you have to keep taking that drug for the rest of your life. So what if, what if, what if we applied these insights and used them to generate a more competent, potent meth analog that could get you high forever? Now that would be transformative chemistry. I think you're really onto something there. Hey, wait, who are those people with the camera? I just assumed they were CMeth. Otherwise, they wouldn't have been able to get in, right? Oh my god. CMeth? Yeah, the Center for Methamphetamine Engineering and True Hospitality, of course. It was started a few years ago when you had a couple of meth addicts trying to steal all the scrap copper from old chem. But instead of turning them in, we got them to tell us everything about the illicit drug business. And the result was multi-departmental collaboration, CMEF. Is the medical school involved in this collaboration? In a sense. They're our best customers. How else do you think the residents make it through their 24-hour shifts? Are you going to kill us now that we found you out? Oh, no. Not if you become our collaborators. Collaboration or death? <laughs> <laughs> collaboration. We, we, we choose collaboration. <laughs> Funny how people always go for that. Except those students who mysteriously withdraw from the graduate program and are never seen again. <laughs> yeah, they're all dead. 